everybody it's Pina here welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little toilet roll holder and as you can see it's got a little hole at the top where the toilet paper can come out you can just cut the toilet paper and start again it's really really cute and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this one um, it's consistent of two parts you've got the top part and the bottom part so you can take the lid off like this and you've got your your base as well which is exact measurement for your toilet paper because standard toilet paper is is the same size so I'm going to show you how to make the two parts so this part and this part and the tassels that go around it which is optional you don't have to have them but I think it looks rather cute so it's got a little hole in the middle as you can see so we're going to show you how to make that as well so let's get started i'll show you what we need to um to make this okay so to make this you'll need first of all you'll need a six millimeter crochet hook okay you'll need a darning needle for your ends at the very end and you'll need a pair of scissors okay so that's what you need now for the yarn you're going to need three different colors you can use one color if you want for everything but it looks nicer when you've got the contrasting colors and for this um, toilet roll holder I, I used uh, these three colors I'm going to show you what which colors they are for this beige bit here I used the beige a beige color now I'm not sure what the colors are but I'm going to put it in the description link below uh, once I've found out what these colors are but this is like a beigey color and it's an Aran um, yarn, okay? For the second colour, oh, I've got this kind of sage green colour. And that too is an Aran yarn, okay? And I'll put the uh, colour description down below in the link. And then I've got this really nice sort of corally kind of colour. Uh, soft coral, I would say. And that is also an Aran yarn. They're both, they're all the same yarn. So... For this yarn, you'll need this six millimeter hook That's, that comes with this yarn. You can use a smaller hook, but then it will give you a smaller project. So I recommend using these, um, these things that I told you. So to start with, we're going to do a magic ring. So we're gonna do a magic ring, and for this, you'll need your very first color. Now I'm gonna take this lid off because we're, we're starting with the lid. That's what we're making at the moment, the lid. So for the lid, we've got the center, center, pa sorry, center panel, and that's like this terracotta color. So I'm gonna get my terracotta yarn, or any color yarn that you you want to use. It, you don't have to have these colors, obviously, but you know, this is the color I'm using. And I'm going to do a magic ring to start with. Let's get your hook and pop that aside. And to do a magic ring, you probably know how to do a magic ring, but I'm going to show you anyway. So you put your yarn over the two fingers, like so. Yarn over as a crisscross over your two fingers. Get your hook and pull up a loop underneath, like so. Hold on to that. And from here, I'm just going to take my, my yarn and then hold that like so. With one loop on your hook. Now we're going to do a chain of two from here. So one and two. Okay, I'm going to pull that a little bit tight, not too much. Now you'll need this hole to be pretty big, to stay big. We're not going to pull it shut. We're going to keep it big. So we're going to work into that now. Now into the magic ring, we're going to work um, 22 double crochets into this ring we're going to work. and this is also included the chain two okay so go ahead and do your 21 into the magic ring including this one which makes 22 in total 22 so I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to put my hook into the magic ring pull through pull through two pull through two yarn over into the magic ring 
pull through two, pull through two. Hold it onto this bit, this here, all the time so that you keep it taut. But we're not going to close this yet. Well, we, we will close it slightly, just pull it slightly at the very end, but it's gonna remain pretty large because you need that gap in the middle there. You need that. So we're going to carry on doing our double crochets into this magic ring. And as I said, keep it taut like this if you feel like it's flopping everywhere. And then yarn over, hook in, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, yarn over, hook in, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, hook in, pull through two, and pull through two again. Oops. Okay, now I'm just going to shift them over a little bit. So again, yarn over, hook in, pull through two, and pull through two again. All right. So, carry on doing that. I think you know the concept of this one. So you just carry on doing your double crochets into your magic ring. Do not pull that magic ring shut because we're gonna need it open. So, 22 of these double crochets, including the chain two. And I'll meet you right back when you're finished. Okay, so I've done my 22 double crochets into this ring. And as you can see, the ring is pretty large now. So I'm just going to tighten it up slightly just to sort of get these two ends together just pull on it a little bit there you go in fact what I'm going to do now I'm going to put my do my slip stitch then we can decide if we, we want to pull it tighter so I'm going to do my slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet so just do your slip stitch like that okay now just take your hook out don't tie off yet and just pull this this back uh, tail end a little bit tight, not too tight, just until you've gotten a reasonable hole there. I'm going to go a bit further with the tight pulling. There we go. So now you've got a hole which is round about that size. Okay, so just spread your double crochets out like this. When you've satisfied that that's enough space for your toilet paper to come out of like so when you're satisfied then you can then tie off and snip off so I'm gonna just chain one and cut my yarn like so because that rounds finished okay so and then you can stop you can pull it a bit more if you want there you go and play around with it once you're satisfied that's fine then the next round comes and the next round is we've got puff stitches for the next round. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do the next round, which is this round here, round two. And that is just two um, looped puff stitches. Normally a puff stitch would be more than two loops, but I'm going to do these small versions of the puff stitches. So go ahead and grab your second colour yarn and for this one I'm going to use the beige yarn again. So I'm just going to grab my yarn and right so for this we're going to let's pop that over there we're going to now pop your yarn into any of these double crochets okay I'm going to go into into there can be anywhere and draw your loop through like so okay and you want to do a chain of two so chain up two so one two from here right now what we're going to do now we can do a puff stitch now the puff stitch is literally just two loops in twice into this same space so yarn over Put your hook into the same space, pull up a loop, that's one. Yarn over into the same space, that's two. And that's all you need. And then you've got your four, five loops on the hook. Pull through all five, chain one. Okay, so that's your very first one. Yarn over, and we're going to go into the next stitch here and do the same thing. So pull up a loop, that's one, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's two. Pull through all of those and do a chain one. 
Okay, so that's your second puff yarn over into the same into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, next stitch, pull up a loop. That's two, two loops pulled up and five on your hook. You should have always five on your hook. Pull through five, chain one. So keep going, yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, that's one, yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, that's two, and then five on your hook, pull through all five, oops, chain one, like so. So carry on with the same method all the way down by two loops into the, that uh, stitch, the next stitch, and pull through all five and chain one in between. Yarn over into the next space, pull up one, pull up two loops, yarn through all five loops and chain one. So you're getting this effect, this puff, this little puff stitch effect. So carry on all the way round and before you finish off, I'll meet you at the end to show you how to finish off this uh, second round. Okay, so I've come to the end of this round and I've got two more puffs to do. Now you should have 22 puffs in total at the end of this round. Um, and I've got two more to do and I'm just going to show you the last two. So I'm going to yarn over and go into that space there and do one, two, yarn over, pull through two. And I've got my last stitch there and I'm going to go into that one as well. So that's one and two and pull through all five on your hook. Chain one at the end, make sure you chain that one. And then we're going to slip stitch in the top of this puff, the very first puff, just there. We're gonna slip stitch into there, like so. There we go. Now, just to show you what that looks like. Let me just put that on the, there you go. So you've got your little gap in the middle, your hole. Straighten that out. There you go. So that's your round two completed. Now for round three, put your hook back in. We're going to chain up two. So do one, two. Start with a chain of two because this round is literally just double crochets all the way around. So when we do our uh, double crochets in every stitch we're going to end up with 45 stitches at the very end so let's start by doing our very first double crochet so yarn over and into this space just here okay you're going to do a double crochet so put your hook in pull through two pull through two yarn over into the top of this um, puff stitch you're going to do a stick um, a double crochet so we're going to put our hook into that V on the top of there and do a double crochet okay so now into the next stitch you can do one of two things into these in between chains that you've made you can either go into here and do your double crochet like so which is easy or you can do it this way if you want can do the same thing, double crochet, but go into that chain to make it look like it's like a single crochet, if you see what I mean, and do it that way. So it gives it more or less the same finish if you do it that way, but I'm gonna do it this way, which is quick and easier, and it's just to go through the chain space, just underneath the chain spaces. So double crochet into that next chain space, like so, Double crochet on top of this next puff. Okay, double crochet into the chain space. Double crochet on top of the next puff here. And double crochet into the next chain space. Yarn over and do the same again. Double crochet onto the top of the next puff, just there, just here. 
and then double crochet into this chain space and repeat that all the way through until you get to the other side and I'm just going to do this last one here so you can see how it looks so there you go it's starting to take form you've got this this round of double crochet so carry on and do the same thing all the way around and I'll meet you before you finish the other end okay now that you've done your 45 double crochets all the way around I've come to the other end I've done my last one into here I'll show you that one so my last one yarn over and, you, and the last one should be on top of the puff like that there you go so that's how the last one looks so once you've done that you want to now slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet that you've made just there and just do a slip stitch like that to, to finish off and then you want to cut off your yarn because we're changing color this bit so I'm just going to place that down here so you can see so there's your circle and that's your three rounds and the next round we're going to do we're going to do these double crochets going down the side now I've got one two three four four double rows of double crochets going down down the side and then the last row will be a single crochet okay so the very first row of these four double crochets will be on back loops only to give you that effect so it comes down the sides okay so that's what we're going to start with the first round will be back loops only the rest of it will be as normal so we're going to take our second color which is the I think it's sage green so I'm going to grab my sage green okay so you're going to attach your yarn anywhere you want really um, I would say probably there would be fine or there it doesn't really matter I'm going to go into back loops only okay so we're going to attach it in the back loop so you don't you don't want the front loop you want the back just there this back loop okay so I'm going to put my hook in take my yarn pull through and then we're going to chain two from there so one two okay now now that I've chained two from there we're going to do a double crochet into every stitch thereafter but only in the back loops for this round so yarn over into the back loop pull up a loop and do your double crochet yarn over into the back loop pull up a loop yarn through two yarn through two as your double crochet and carry on in back loops only see so you've only got your back loop and this is the only round that you'll be doing that in this top um, for the lid so let's go Keep going until you get to all the back loops and you can see it's getting um it's becoming a ridge so you've got the the basis of this the side bits of your your lid so I'm going to carry on doing double crochets into those back loops yarn over into the back loop Double crochet, yarn over into the back loop. I'm putting my tail end in, so I'm I'm sort of crocheting it in in with the uh, the stitches. You don't have to. You can sew it in at the end, but I think it's it's uh, it looks much better like this. So back loops only. Back loop only. And then back loop only there we go there you go so carry on go ahead and do that and go all the way around and i meet you to the other end okay and you should have 45 stitches on that round as well so i'll meet you in a moment okay so i've done all my double crochets all the way around as you can see and it's formed a really nice ridge and i've got two more left now you should have 45 at the end 45 double crochets so i'm going to do my last two here so yarn over back loop again double crochet yarn over and my last back loop 
just there. Just going to put my hook into there, back loop, and do another double crochet. So that's the end. That completes this round. Okay. So this is the fourth round. So I'm going to now slip stitch, just pull that tight there, and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the um, double crochet, not the chain two. So I'm just going to insert my hook just there, like so, and then pull it all together and slip stitch. There you go. So that's how you do that, that first part. So now that you've done that ridge, the very first ridge, we'll tie off the ends later on. I'm all sewing the ends, sorry, later on. Um, and you've got this little ridge formed. There you go. So it's easier to work now from there. So now from here, we're going to do um, three more because we've got four rows of this. So one, two, three, four. That was your first, just there. And we're going to do another three rows until we, and then the last row will be the single crochet row. But let's do those three rows of um, double crochet. So from every time you start, your starting chain is two each row, each round. So one, two, start with two. Okay. Now we're going to yarn over because we're going to do double crochet in each and every stitch. So in this space here, we're going to start with our very first double crochet. And then next one, double crochet. Next one, double crochet and so on, double crochet, oops, double crochet, double crochet, and then yarn over and keep going. There we go. So go ahead and do your double crochets and until you get to this side, chain two each time you start. And then in that space just there, you're going to do another uh, double crochet onwards. So three of these rounds you need now because in total we want four. OK, so go ahead and do your other three rounds and I'll meet you back here when you've done three, three more of those rounds. Okay, so I've come to the end of these four rounds of double crochet, and this is what it should look like. So it's literally just a lid, and the ends are still there, but you can tie them in at any point. You can do it now, you can you can do your ends in now or later. But the last final round is just a single round of single crochet. Okay, so from here, we're going to do the single crochets. So I'm going to put my hook back in, chain one. And into that same space there, I'm going to do a single crochet, single crochet, and then the next stitch, single crochet. So all along, all you're doing here is single crochet stitches. You're not doing anything else. Single crochet, crochet, crochet stitches. Um, and all the way around, just carry on doing this. And that just trims it, that gives it a nice trim, you know, to the double crochet. So you've got a nice, you can see, nice edging. So go ahead, because this is pretty straightforward, and uh, do your single crochets until I meet you at the other end. And once you've done all of those, just one round, I'll tell you how to finish off this round. Okay, so I've done this round of single crochet and I'm just going to do my last single crochet just there and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the very first, not the chain one, but the very first single crochet. Just going to slip stitch like so. Okay, now because that's the end of this round, we can now tie off, cut off our yarn. I'm just going to chain one and cut off. Okay. So now you've got your little lid, okay, to your toilet roll holder. So that's your lid done. So the tassels, I'm going to show you how to do that at the very end because we're going to come uh, get on with the base. 
um, but then I'm going to show you at the end how to do the tassels. So let's pop that aside and let's bring in the base. So that's your base, toilet roll holder base. Now it consists of this little circle and then you've got the sides and there's nine rows of the sides and there is uh, one, two, three, I think four rows of the base. Okay, so we're going to get started now with the magic ring to start the very middle bit. So I'm going to grab my yarn and you can use any color you want. I'm going to use the same color again. And as you can see, it's a real perfect fit for the toilet paper. It's exact size for your toilet paper. So I'm going to grab my yarn now. So I've got my green yarn here. So I'm going to um, I'm going to do a magic a magic circle again. So again, you just take your yarn, cross over, crisscross over your two fingers, get your hook. Oops, underneath you grab. Let's do that again. Make sure you. That's right, hold it into place. So I've got my crisscross into place and I'm going to grab my yarn from underneath like so. And I'm going to just hold it there. Okay, and we're going to chain two up from there. So that. So now I'm going to grab my yarn, my green yarn. Okay, and I'm going to do a magic circle. So I'm going to just cross, crisscross over my two fingers like before, grab the loop like so and then you want to just pinch that and then hold on to this big loop with that hand and you've got the small loop onto the hook now we're going to chain two one two from there that's helped locked it into place and now we're going to do 14 double crochets into this magic ring including the chain two so go ahead and do 14 so yarn over into the magic ring that's number two yarn over into the magic ring three and so on you just literally just do double crochets as before into the magic ring but this time at the end of the magic ring we're going to pull this tight completely not like the very first um, we did on the on the lid we're not going to keep this this gap we're going to close it but in the meantime just keep going into that space and do your double crochets all the way in until you have 14 of these. You want 14 of these. Okay, so I'll meet you back when you've done 14. Okay, so now you've done your 14, including the chain two, we're going to pull this tight like so pull your tail end at the back and then you've got a tight circle now so now we're going to slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet so we're going to slip stitch into there pull through until you've done a, a nice slip stitch now from here we're going to chain two again and we're going to do this time we're going to do two double crochets in every stitch so chain chain up two one two and then we're going to do two uh, double crochets in every single stitch. Ignoring this chain two for now because that, that combines with the, the other side when we get to the other side. So let's just do a two double crochets into this space here, just there. So yarn over into that space, pull up a loop, yarn through two, yarn through two. Yarn over into that same space, pull through two and pull through two. Okay, so now you have, ignoring this chain two, you've got two into that space, yarn over, and we want two double crochets in the next space, like so. And keep going, making sure you've got two in each, um, in each stitch really. So that's one and two. one and two so it gives you that increased look one and two one 
two. Because you're doubling it, you should have uh, 28 at the end, 28 double crochets. So that's one and two. One and two. One and two. One, two. One and two. And then the last one, two into that last space there. So one and two. Now, we haven't finished yet because we're going to do um, into this where this chain two is coming out of. We're going to do another double crochet because that, then it joins off, it pairs off with that and makes two in one stitch. So yarn over and into that space just there where the chain's coming out of, you're going to do another double crochet. So then they pair off and then in the end you've got 28 sets of two double crochets okay i mean 28 double crochets around and two of them in each stitch so for the next round what we're going to do we're going to slip stitch into the top of that very first double crochet again just do a slip stitch like so now what we're going to do we're going to do the next round is going to be slightly different. So chain two again to start. OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a repeat of one double crochet, two, one double crochet, two. So ignoring this chain two again, yarn over and do your very first double crochet into that space there. Like so. So that's your very first double crochet. Now from here we're going to do two into the next stitch, so two double crochets, one and two. The next one we're going to do one double crochet and in the next uh, stitch you're going to do two and you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So one and two in the next stitch. One, two. Okay, one in the next and two in the next. Right, so one in the next and two in the next. Okay, so carry on all the way round and do the same sequence of one double crochet, two, one double crochet, two, one double crochet, two, and so on until you get to this end and I'll show you how to finish off this round. Okay, so we come back to this, the end of this round and uh, I'm just going to finish off because at this end of this, at the end of the round, you're going to finish off with two in this stitch here where we just done the two, chain two as before. But the last stitch here is going to be a single crochet. So yarn over, you should end up with a single crochet in that final stitch there. Now in this stitch here, don't forget we're going to make, we have to make two in there. So that chain, cut, chain two classes as one double crochet, yarn over and into that space, we're going to do another one. Okay, so it should have 42 stitches in total all the way around. Now, because that's classed as two stitches in in one space, so you, you start with the two, then there's a one, and then you end with the one, and you've got the two again. So you make sure it's two, one, one, two, 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 one. and then that makes the two, the chain two, if that makes any sense. So always remember in that last chain two you need to join it with um, another 
double crochet to make two two doubles in a in a space so now that you've completed this round uh one two three round three round four is pretty simple what we're going to do in round um four is a single crochet okay so it's just going to be one row of single crochet so let's go ahead and slip stitch in the top of this um double crochet so a slip stitch there okay right chain one and in the same space you're going to do a single crochet so let's just do a single crochet just there and then all the way along single crochet that's all you're going to do in this round it's a single simple as that single crochet in this round so single crochet single crochet single crochet and you should end up with 42 stitches as well so that's all the way around in every stitch you do just one single crochet and I'll let you do that until I meet you at the other end okay so we've done this the end of this round uh, single crochet I'm just gonna do my last one just just there I'm gonna do my last single crochet just there and then I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the very first single crochet which is not the chain one but the single crochet that you started with let's put a hook in and do a slip stitch okay now now that you've done that we're going to now do this next bit the next bit is a little bit tricky it's only one round of it though it, it should be okay and what it is you're going to do um we're going to do double crochet into back loops only which gives it this lovely base and then we're working round up 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 in the sides up up the sides sorry we're going to be working and then we're going to be working up the sides so for this bit we're going to chain two okay so do your chain two as usual and into the very first stitch which is just there okay we're going to go into back loops only but with this back loop method slightly different from the lid that we just did because we want it to be a little bit more sturdy it's the base and it's not going to be a floppy um, side bit here we want it quite firm um, it, it, it actually looks better that way so I'm going to show you this method which is back loops only um, but then the third loop which is just here I'm going to get my needle and show you where the third loop is so you've got your back loops which are these ones as you can see as your back loops yeah now what you need you're going to we're going to go into the back loop and this third loop which is hiding just there can you see that just there there's a third loop just below the back loop and we're picking up that loop as well so um, normally when you do back loops only you would do this I'm just going to give you an example you'll go into there and then there and then you'll get this it's a little bit of a loose effect as you can see especially for the base so with the third loop you're creating more of a sturdy base so I'm just going to put my hook in now I'm going to do double crochets into the back loops and the third loops and you can use a smaller loop if you find these third loops are tight too tight to get into you can use a smaller hook but I'm going to try with this big hook and I'm going to go into my very first back loop which is just there okay into that back loop as a double crochet so go into the back loop and then grab your third loop you'll see it somewhere underneath there it is there's, the, there's my third loop so put my hook into there like so grab your yarn pull up a loop pull through two pull through two okay yarn over into the next back loop and third loop just underneath just there I'm going to put my hook right in and if you crochet a bit too tight you might find it difficult that's why I said get a smaller hook for this very first round but not for every round just for this round and yarn over back loops and third loop there's your third loop can you see your third loop I'm just going to show you where the third loop is that's the back loop and that's the third loop show you one more time so you can see they're just below each other there you go that's the third loop that one there 
So I'm going to go in again. So we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over like that. Back loop just like that. And then when you lift up your will work. You can see the third loop. It might be difficult to go in. Just use your finger if you want. And then just, and it's only for one round, so it's not too bad. Yarn over into the back loop and the third loops. Then pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, back loop and a third loop. Pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, back loop and third loop. It might be advisable if you wanted to make it a little bit easier to do this single crochet row you did previously a bit looser. If you do it a bit looser, it's easy to get into. So go ahead and carry on with these back loops and third loops only. There you go. Just there. Back loop and third loop. Sometimes it's hard to see that third loop but it's there. It's definitely there. So back loop and third loop just there. Just underneath the back loop which is there. Just going to go put my hook in. So carry on. Go ahead and do that all the way around now that you've, you've got the concept of that. And when you've come to the see as you can see look it's it's pretty sturdy so go all the way round to the other end and I'll meet you when you finish this round okay so we finished this round of back loops and third loops only and you've got your little base for your toilet roll holder and that's the very first round of this edge bit um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the next round now we're going to do in total nine rounds so including what we've just done, that's the very first, go ahead and do eight more of these double crochet rounds. Okay, so you've got nine in total. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine rows. And that was the very first. And it's given you that really nice, can you see? Really nice base. Now to finish off this round, we're going to just I'm going to do my last one here. And then the back loop, obviously, as well. The third loop and the back loop. And then we're going to do another... Um, sorry, that was meant to be a double. So we'll just yarn over and do the last one here. And there we go. And now what we do now is we're just going to finish off with a slip stitch in the top of this very first double crochet. So you've got your base, there you go, neatly done. So now the next round, I'll start you off for the next round. You just, you're going to do double crochet, so you're going to chain two in each of every round that you start with, so always chain two. Okay, yarn over, and we always go into this very uh, first space, just there, and start our very first double crochet in every round you do exactly the same thing so exactly the same thing go ahead and do your double crochet rounds um, and what you need to do is in total have including the base the very first one we did we need nine rounds of this uh, double crochet stitches all the way around go around to the side slip stitch in the top of the very first double crochet and carry on in every round the same method and I'll meet you right back when you've done all of those rounds. So I've come to the end of my nine rows of double crochet and I've now slip stitched into the top of my very first. I've chained one and I'm going to now cut my yarn. Okay, so now go ahead and tie your ends in and I'm going to show you how to make your um, the tassels for the lid. So here's your lid and here's your other lid. Now the tassels are this size. You can make them any size you want, but I like them pretty short. And you're doing the tassels in the third row down. And what I've done here, I've done every two, if you can see, every two double crochets, I've put a tassel 
then two double crochets, another tassel, then two and another tassel. You can do it anywhere you want really. You can do it every three, every one. If you want more tassels, it's up to you. But this is how I've done my one. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So, grab your yarn. You can have, I'm having a yarn of um, two different colors, two different colored types of yarn. So I've got the, this uh, terracotta-ish color first. So I'm gonna grab some of that. And I've got the beige yarn as well. So I'm gonna grab some of that as well. So we've got beige yarn and terracotta-ish yarn. And I'm going to make um, double strands of each color. Now, I think I've done, on this one, I've, I've made, let's just count, so it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. So about 15 tassels I've done on this one. And of course, two colors. So you might want to do seven of one color and eight of another. It's up to you. So basically do whatever colors you like. And I'm going to get, let's have a look. About, if you just do about this big, you don't want it too, too big, about that much. Okay, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. So if you do that and you want double strands, so those double, double stranded. So go ahead and do about 15 between both colors. And I'm gonna do a mix of both colors, but you can do one color, it's up to you. So what you do is you just double strand them like this. Like this. Before you cut them, and then you just do that. And then what you do is you just cut the, ed the ends off like so, the loops at the ends. And then the other side. Okay, and then what you do is you divide each double strands. So you need two strands of each of each colors that you're using. I'm just gonna pop that over there and show you. I've got some red, some uh, terracotta. And I'm gonna do a few of these beige ones as well. About the same size, you need to do it. And then just snip off the ends. Okay, and make sure you do have two strands of each color, like so. Now go ahead and do as many as you want. I'm gonna do about 15 or so. And uh, once you've done that, I'll show you how to attach them. Okay, so I've done all my strands of double um, stat stranded yarn, and what I'm going to do now is attach them. So let's just pop these aside. Okay, now that I've set them aside, I can show you where to put your tassels. Okay, so how I did it, I just did it, like I said, the third row down. So if I grab the example here, so it's one, two, three. So let's go to the third row, one, two, three. And just what I did was I just marked that's every two double crochets. That's when I put a, um, the strands, the tassels, sorry, the tassels. So I'm gonna start with my first color. Doesn't matter which color you start with. And we're just going to go into there like that with your hook into one of the double crochets. You're gonna grab your, two strands and you're going to put it onto your hook like that hold it like this pull it through and then yarn over the hoop the hook and then we're going to pull it through like so okay so you've got that attached nicely to your lid okay so i'm going to grab another color now And do the same thing. I'm going to skip two, two double crochets and into the next, underneath the next one, we're going to put another one on my hook, like so. And then we're going to just grab that, make sure it's level, the strands are level or levelish. We're going to trim them anyway, but as long as they're level. So just pop that over the hook and pull through. And that's literally all you do. 
there's nothing more to it and that's all you do and you just alternate the colors so you've got or you can use one color it depends what you're using i'm going to skip two again one two hook underneath the next one put my um two strands onto the hook pull them so they're level and i'm going to pull it through that one and yarn over and pull through the loop like so that's how you attach your tassels the third row down i'm going to add another color and i'm going to put it skip two again and i'm going to put it just under there like so on my hook like so pull through yarn over and pull through the loop It might be good to just make the loop a little bit looser so you can just put your yarn through like that. Okay, so simple. And that's all you do. And continue with all your colours. I'm going to put another colour now to show you. So I'll skip two and into the next one. Another tassel. Pull through. And then we're going to just pull through again. Now, go ahead and do the same sequence or whatever sequence you want to do. And then I'll meet you when you've finished to show you how to trim them. Okay, so I've done all my tassels. And as you can see, they're all different colours. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tie our ends in. So I've got a few ends to tie in. And I'm just going to start with the center. So in the center, just thread your yarn through like that. See, and it brings it all together and nice and neat. There you go. So that's that's done. I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to do the next bit. And just stick your needle wherever you think it's fit to go and I'm going to just slip it underneath here like so like so and back again just to secure it of course you can go through as many times as you want to secure it okay I'm just going to snip that off And then I've got one more, I think. No, two more. So I'm going to put that in as well, tie that in. All right. And just thread it in wherever you find a space. There we go. And I think I've got one more after this. Let's snip that off. And then one more strand should be just there. Now with this, you can do a, because it's going to show and you don't want that bulbous knot there, what you can do is you can do an invisible join, which is if I just take this out, so I've just taken that out all together now to do an invisible join because that was slip stitched and attached uh, in a knot um, I've undone it now so what you can do is to make it look really neat you can do what you call a invisible join and I've got um, I've done this a few times in my videos where you can do that and it looks a, you know really neat so I'm going to show you how to do that now if you want to do that so Thread your needle, your th uh, yarn through, and now that you've got this end undone, we're going to go into the back of this uh, single crochet we created, and we're going to go into the back and to the front and bring your yarn through like that. 
Now you're going to create like what you call a invisible join, which looks like the rest of the other um, stitches. So we're going to go into this one we came out of, okay, and go in again and in through the back and grab the third loop as we're doing that. And then just pull it through like that, not too tight because you want it to look more or less the same as the others, you see? Looks pretty much the same. And then I'm just going to now tie in, because it's the tying in time anyway, so we're tying in everything, all our loose ends, and then we can do that with this one as well. And just tie your ends in as you normally do. All right, I'm gonna snip that off. Okay, so that's done. And that's your lid done. And look, that looks really nice, completed. Now I'm gonna show you how to assemble both lid and base with your toilet paper in. So for this bit, what we're going to do is grab our base. Okay, so I've tied my end in, ends in anyway, so that's good, that's already been done. So now that you've tied everything in, your ends are all tied in, we're going to put the toilet paper in. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. <clears throat> we're going to put the toilet paper in, but we're not going to put the toilet paper with this carton roll in, in the middle. We're going to remove that, okay? And to remove that, it's pretty straightforward. To remove that, you just put your hands into the cardboard roll, like so. Sort of bend it on one side, like, oops, make sure you grab all of it. Bend it on one side, grab the other side, and again, you want to bend it while it's in there. Grab all of it and bend it while it's inside the roll. And bend it with two hands, can you see? And bend it in really well, like so. Once you've done that, you can then remove it very easily. So that's it, you don't need that. But you'll need a bit of tissue because that's gonna come through the hole in the lid, okay? So now what we do is just pop that into your holder, like so, and that fits nice and snug. There you go, that's all in. So you've got it in your holder, okay? Now what we're going to do, we're gonna put the lid on now. So to do this, first of all, grab your toilet paper, sort of bend it so it's a bit smaller, and then pop it through. And then what you do is just stretch your lid over the top of the holder itself. It's nice and elasticated kind of thing so it holds in place. And just bring it down like so. Okay, but we haven't finished yet. We're doing the final touch now. The final touch is to trim the tassels so they're all even. So to trim the net tassels, that's why I put it on the toilet paper holder so that you can uh, see the tassels, the way they are, how, how short or how long they are. So for this, you just grab your scissors and you just trim however long or short you want them. I mean, you can have them really short or you can have them really long, it's up to you. I'm gonna have them about, about that short, and little. You can have them longer, obviously, it's up to you. As you can see, I've trimmed them to the length of the base of the uh, lid, so you can see um, you can see where it is. It gives you that level, uh, so you know where it where the end is. So you can just trim from there. See, a bit short. My old my other one was a bit longer. The tassels were a bit longer. I'll show you the difference. Just a tiny bit longer. But you can have. I'm making this one a little bit shorter. So it's up to you, it's entirely up to you how long you have your tassels. You can have them even down to here if you want, but I prefer them like this. So it's, it gives it that boho look. Boho look, is that the word for it? The boho look. So just gonna trim them off like this evenly. Whatever size you wanna do, just trim them that size. Or if you've got them, if you've got it standing up like this, then you can trim like this. Even it's up to you. I'm lining it down so you can see how it's done. 
So let's take a look. So there you are. Just going to see if they're all even. Yeah, pretty much even. Um, yep, that's pretty much even, I think. Let's have a look. Yep. Okay, so there you are. Just going to remove all this loose strands. And there is your, I would say, boho toilet paper holder. That's what that's what it looks like. So there's your little boho toilet paper holder. And you can just take your paper out like this. And then it comes out really easily, as you can see. It comes out really, really easily. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did like this video, please like it and subscribe to it so you can see more of my um, patterns of my in my channel. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. See you soon.